Yeah, didn't realize the stream probably stopped. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah. So, uh, I just got 25 on rods. Uh, I did. Uh, well, traded oil last night on the option side. Got that. You can see that. Uh, football position. Why is there ESH? Oh, this is what I was looking to show you guys. This is options question, option question are what we're looking at. That price is ridiculous for call. Ridiculous for call. Ridiculous for call. This is, I think, this age contract. Uh, yeah, this age contract. You should pull up the M contract for you guys if you know how to do that. It's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if you uh, trade, I know how to do this. Go to the option chain and sort out yourself. I was looking at the roll and the cost of it. Maybe we had today's position. Made some. Why are we showing 12? I don't know what the hell. Oh, that was the loss and the, uh, and the win. So, I don't have anything netted right now. Got in the 2500 flats for the London close. Use 10 points as stop. Very careful goes. 99 miles from there. Just wanted to be in and out. Got in, got out. Let the market do what it wants. Just let it do what it wants. London close trade, zero number. It's a obvious trade. I got out at 10 points on my first leg and 25-40 on the second leg. Didn't matter what I wanted to see there. <coughs> Not trading too much, trading micros. So, got off my 4. 3 out of 4 there. Everything is filled. It's some money. Yeah, 300 or 400 bucks. Trading micros. Uh, that's life. Try for FD, got off. You expect ridiculous swings like this in market like this. The risk in the market is always risk in the market. And who is loading and what time they're loading for. More than likely, that those are time the entry algos looking for the lean out in the market and the drop in liquidity. What the quote board is showing 2 million contracts versus. 400,000 that is 20 up to 20 percent the rule the pace of the rule is what I'm looking at premium is still there at around 10 to 12 points yeah but a lot of people find off what happened there what is that how that happened monitor in the NQ also no really need the NQ the NQ limit down before Anybody uh, slim it down? <coughs> Last night, so we and we limit down to seven. <coughs> this is where you see the options traders getting into the market and actioning in the market because of expiry. It is because of expiry. The roll, the roll, the roll, the pace of the roll. That was the question, that is why I was looking at a particular level, but more or less hands off today. Don't want to be a millionaire and don't want to lose a million dollars in market state like this. It is wild. And here comes the pushback because we have big boys setting up on both sides of the market. So don't want to be there, took my small little peak right there. Got 
Well on that close. Got in and out. Don't care about the rest of the day. Let it do what it wants. So uh, again to last night stuff. I didn't get shot. No the player was shot. Just didn't want to get shot on three years. Did not. <laughs> Under any circumstances want to be there because a bit of an optimist. You can see we just gave speech, value a low, point of control, tip tap, boom. The long side for me time speech started, we don't already knew what the hell was going on because that was ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> I think we should get some new speech writers or something. Or at least have people knowing what they're talking about. When the talk I'll speak out and ask it to a situation. How people Oh, probably my god. Watch that, that's a good podcast, SCN. There <laughs> a lot of funny guys here. Yeah. yeah, back to what we're talking about. Uh well people have a little bit of sense. Because I mean that was so disappointing why so last night. People trying to blame the <laughs> the man too but uh, if it's not you, how is your cabinet, your advisors? Because the amount of clarifications that was required last night was ridiculous. I mean, I can't understand people jumping on certain things, but at the end of the day, that is the political environment you're living in so you should be ready to answer those questions and come up with something coherent at least something coherent which is a plan a way to deal with the situation and make it clear you may have the best plan in the world but you do not communicate it well enough you will get something like what happened last night Happen. No to if and or but about it. If shit hit the fan, it will hit the fan. What we do, we a uh, probable setup here is value a high, active value a high. Look for the trade at 68, 60, 65 would be. Yeah, entry 75 will be an exit, wait for it, kill zone is between 75 and 65, average entry is at 70. Yeah, we're just looking for that bounce over there. Trying to keep your hands off the market as much as possible, trade and micros. couple of my friends called me last night because it was <coughs> we have like our little personal stuff with slack and so and a couple of things you to see that we have inside which is um discord We did this but we um so a couple of them called my house stream that last night they were like dude why so emotional I'll be like why don't you just shut up <laughs> for a bit <laughs> uh, they could see they could hear uh, yeah, I was pissed I was very very pissed because it's not about the money it's about you're playing with people lives in a situation like that yeah, absolutely, yeah, with the income and everything else. Uh, not my income personally. I've been doing this for a while now. Been profitable for a while. But, uh, it's the man on the street that I'm most worried about. Because that is ridiculous. In other words, it is ridiculous. Something coherent would have been nice. I don't like to shit on people, but when they deserve it. I will do it. <coughs> so every time we sell, we bought 2500 flats on London Close, for London Close. 
got a team, got all me 50 points total. Well, a 40 point winner and a 10 point winner. Traded for Microsoft, right? Looking to sell 68 to 70, 70 to the best NG. We need <coughs> for your yeah, time to get in 65 to 70. So, that's a kill zone there. 2700 is a particularly high volume kill zone. So, if you're trading, probability, high probability, you might reach here at some point during the day. And you just lean on what we see, we lean on value low, active value low. I mean value high, same value low. Now we have two bands set up. It's unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. You say what? That's life. Uh, <coughs> option position and pricing is ridiculous. We do have a we had an oil position on that was short. We were short last time or we lent on oil so trade as a group is what makes it a little bit safe so we just kinda look at what each of our profitability is. Did order the Peloton yesterday. Which is a good thing. A <laughs> hundred and thirty point swing in what fifteen minutes. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. This market is ridiculous. That is why my grid is a good idea. To trade in open market. That is ridiculous. A hundred and sixty points. What was the high? 56. Nah, no way close to my range. My range is 65. I wanna see that lock in. If that lock in. Won't be sad if I get stopped out within 10 points or stop. On that, have enough profitability to cover that and then some. For the day. Made some money this morning on my gross. Enough to buy lunch next week. Just don't want to get involved with my minis, slippage and all kind of stuff. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I think the shot and system does have any, yes. I'm gonna see if I could add it to uh, the board here. Now we add M E S M. Um, delete that. Take a see the clipping around the same day. Oh, what's any difference in volume? Mm. Everybody trading minis, not micros. One trade per day, but per day period. So position wise, we are positive. After last night, we keep in trade pretty good. We'll get for more than that. the same situation for this are you looking for is that play back to the downside more than likely you're looking for that point of control that actual luck if you do get the secondaries if you get to latch on get the secondaries in 
point of control will be your decision point for today you can see that 2600 trade smart around that level use as TPs not as entries don't really need to cry over spilt milk or you take a beating yesterday a beating overnight so the options I don't know cost them was pretty high but we took the option trade British trade we didn't want to take because of liquidity issues we didn't we were looking at what the liquidity was yesterday and Thursday so more or less I don't know that 2600 is your level for the day looking at that 26 this node here which is at 65 percent you know leaning on that we'll go to the short side market makers having a tough time trying to figure out that probably a news event somebody maybe finally do something about what's going on that is after Trump just gave a q and I think so we'll see what we will anyhow it's 12 minutes past one i need to find out do a couple things for the rest of the day so trade small trade smart guys don't step in front of trains planes and automobiles <laughs> <laughs> uh, take where you get take with the market over there do not be trading minis in an environment like this, especially if you are trading a, <coughs> a prop account. I trade my live account with my personal money and I'm not going to waste my money today. Let the market do what it wants, let rollover happen. That is the most important thing for me and my trading strategy is watching the roll and monitor it. Today, is my, today and tomorrow will be monitor day for me was always going to be monitor day for me this week was always going to be micros to monitor that can I roll over to the ESH the ESM contract so always monitor your stuff on what you have <coughs> and if you're trading your live account do not be over leverage uh, and if you're trading options you better have understood what an option is and how an option operates and pricing mechanism volatility volatility is above 60 which is ridiculous in its own right i think the highest vol vix average was 80 somebody in 2008 probably had to just go to the um, stuff for that so position we have options we went flat this morning at the low on that the only thing we had open was really the crude and one yes we sold on 28 80s that that is forward running options those uh, were expiries for uh, i think the expiry was june expiries we ran some 90 days on that so trade small guys, trade smart, multi roll over. Tomorrow may not be a trading day either, so have that in your back pocket. So anyhow guys, uh uh leave it there with you guys see you guys for next week. I know. Um probably see you guys in the trade recap, market recap this evening. Alright, bye.